This video covers how to install Huntron Workstation 4.3 on a new Windows 10 computer. To start, install your installation DVD into your computer and select it. Browse the DVD and select workstationsetup.exe. This will begin the installation process. You will be prompted with a series of questions. First of all, you just give some information about installing it, your uh, license agreement, the README file, and then how to select uh, what type of probe you're using. This will install the proper camera driver. So it's either based on the color of the camera, black or gray, or a blue camera on an Access DH or newer single head probers. Now, if you have older workstation installations, we'll treat this part differently and ask you based on a series of dialogues to confirm yes or no whether or not you have an access or access to prober or possibly for using an access DH or DH2 prober um, to select yes or no if you have one of those types of probers and then this way it will install the proper camera driver so read these messages carefully to make sure that you get the proper driver installed if you have a single head do not install the DFK camera driver all right now back to the installation Now as part of the installation, you will need to install the .NET framework used by Huntron Workstation. Um, this is the 3.5 version. So if your computer is online, then this process for installation can be downloaded and installed automatically. Um, if not, then you'll need to find the uh, file by searching on Microsoft's website for the .NET Framework 3.5 download. Then you can download that file, move it to the computer, and then install it from there. So here's the start of that. Here's the .NET Framework installation, so you'll want to accept this uh, user agreement. And then it's prompting you to download and install that particular software to the computer. So click Download and Install this feature. Again, if your computer is not online, you may have to download the file from the Microsoft website. So again, search on .NET Framework 3.5 Download to find that file and download it to uh, your computer so that file can be moved to the PC with workstation on it. This process does take quite a long time. I'm actually fast forwarding this part of it in the video. So that is successfully installed. So we'll go next and then we can click finish on the .NET Framework installation to continue with the workstation installation. I'm using an Access DH, so it's prompting me to install the camera drivers for that particular type of DH, and this was based on the question earlier to select which type of prober camera I was using. So the DFK camera drivers are now installing, and that is uh, now complete. So we'll click finish. and then we'll be able to finish our workstation installation here. Click the finish button to close out the installation. The next thing I will do here is to go to the Windows Device Manager. I'll just type in Device Manager in search so I can select it. Here's the Windows Device Manager and you'll notice there's some other devices. These device, uh, drivers are not installed because Windows 10 did not recognize what they were. So the HS20 is the motor driver for my Access DH, and this will also be on the older Access Probers. So I'll right click on that, select Update Driver, and then choose to browse to the driver myself. And the location you want to use is the C drive, Program Files x86, Huntron Workstation 4.3, and then the Drivers folder. Click OK, and then notice the path now is to that Drivers folder. That's all you really need. We're not browsing to a specific driver. Click Next. Click Install for this particular driver. This, and that's complete. So close that window. So you notice we have a new driver installed. We also need to install the Tracker Model 30, which is installed inside my prober, so I'll right-click Update Driver, 
browse to my computer. Again, you can select that same drivers folder and click next. So you now see that's successfully installed. One more is the USB serial port. Again, browse to your computer. And that one's installed. So when these are installed successfully, you'll have a Huntron Devices folder where the Tracker Model 30 is located. And notice in the ports category, my USB or my HS20 USB is uh, mapped to COM4. I need to know that. So I'll make note that the COM4 is where my motor controller is mapped to at this point. Now, if you're using a newer Huntron Prober, the Huntron Probers will show up um, under other devices. So again, you'll want to right click that, select the update driver, and go through that same process we did earlier. And then once that is complete, that Huntron Prober will now move up to the Huntron devices. Now this is on the newer Huntron Probers that um, are using a straight USB controlled motor controller. Now the next step we want to do is start Huntron Workstation. I'll need to put in my activation codes. I have these in a text file, so I'm just going to copy my tracker activation code for my text file. And paste that into the activation code field and do the same thing with my prober activation code. Copy that and paste it into the field. Click Activate. And then Huntron Workstation will set up. So I'm going to reset my window panes. So I'll go to the Tools and Options, the Hardware tab, select my tracker type, which is an access tracker. It's a built-in tracker to my prober. The tracker port is USB, and I click Connect. And I'll get a message that it connected successfully once the tracker is initialized. So we'll click OK. And then we'll also want to configure the prober that's connected. Again, I'm using an Access DH. Remember, it was on connected to COM4 on my HS20. And then you'll make sure that your frame grabber is correct. Mine is a DFK Access DH. Click the Connect button. And this might take a minute or two. You're going to be prompted to, that the probes on the probe are going to go home. So on a single head, of course, just one probe. On a dual head, it'll send both home probes to the home position. Again, this might take a minute or two while the probes move to the home position. And then in this case, it connected successfully. So I'll click OK. And finally, the next step would be to click the Save Permanent button to save the current configuration. From this point, to learn the test development process, we suggest you go to the Help menu and select Tutorials. There you'll find different tracker and prober tutorials that help you through the process of test development in Workstation. Thank you for watching.